Hello everyone, I'm Kassar here, welcome back to more Sakura Strangers! Alright, I only remember the last time what happens at Waterfall and Kayo. And that's about it. I don't know what else happened after that, so... Uh, I am concerned, Kayo. I don't know about what, but... She says she not to worry about it. But for Kyra's sake, I think I need to go do something. Alas, I do not see her here now. So she will probably not turn up for some time. Well, Kyle says I should not worry about it. But I don't think, I don't like seeing them fight like this. When class is over, I'm going to go look for her. Kyle excuses herself going somewhere else. Who knows where she is up to? She seems to be fine considering what happened. I have owned a few pet cats in the past. Not a single one of them liked water at all. But my main concern at the moment is where Nayako is hiding. I'm sure that she was wearing uni her uniform, so she obviously intended to come to class today. So why would she hide away and dump that bucket of wild water on Kayo if, if it was to her intention? Honestly, this conflict between both of them is just silly. Hello, Taru. My teacher passes by me. Are you suddenly and okay? I'm fine. Yeah, thanks for asking. I've seen those two troublemakers hanging around you a lot. He lets out a heavy sigh. Oh, the guy. <laughs> that was a chick. Ever since they came here, they've been doing ridiculous things to each other. I am not going to mention the bucket incident from this morning. If anything happens, please let me know. That's no problem. Alright, see you in class. He heads off then. It sounds like incident... Incidents like these are just the norm with the two of them involved. Hey, Toru! I look around. Nayako? Where are you? I'm feeling a strange atmosphere again. Take a ride just down the hall. You will find me there. I can't determine where her whispers are coming from. It's almost like it's inside my head. I hesitantly... Hesitantly... I begin to follow her instructions. Look to your right. Sure enough, I do. Please don't let it be something awkward. A white tail is sticking out from behind one of the doors. Come in here. She begins at me with her tail. Quietly, I open the door. I step into what appears to be to the cooking practice room. Now I go sitting on one of the benches. So this is where you are hiding. Yep, there will be no one using this room for the entire day. So I can safely wait things out. I just shake my head. Why did you do that, Nayako? It was completely unnecessary. She's always so full of herself. Duty this, duty that. Does she honestly think that I am not aware how important this job is? I am here because I care too. You were listening to us the whole time, weren't you? That's right. Never underestimate a cat's hearing. Even if it bothered you so much, I think what you did was going too far. You don't get it, Toru. People like her need to be taken down a peg. She doesn't even care that much. She just pretend later that nothing even happened. That's what I don't like about her. I like to think that I'm patient enough, but I honestly don't like this at all. You should apologize to her. Eh? What are you talking about? Don't you think that you should say sorry? I understand that the both of you have a long running feud, but you aren't in the beyond anymore. Nayako grows quiet. It's it's just not that simple, Toro. I know that it's easy from an outsider's pers perspective, but for us, we just can't do it so simply. Why? You obviously don't hate each other. Both of you agreed to come here as a pair, didn't you? That's true. Well, Face it, even if you don't like her, you're going to be spending a long time as neighbors in those two shrines. I suppose that is not really my place to say anything, but just think about it, okay? That's all I would like to ask of you. Naiko seems to be thinking it over. Her tail waxed from side to side, her ears holding, folding back. A deep, deep frown forms on her face. Honestly, I think all of this nonsense is ridiculous. It may seem like I'm taking I Kyle's side in all this, but I don't like, I don't think either of them are being particularly fair to each other. 
Well, maybe just this one time. I can say sorry to her. Just give me some time though. That's some progress at least. Kyle said that I don't have to involve myself with this. But it just simply doesn't sit right with me. Thank you for listening to me. It's funny, Toro. Something about your voice. She gets off the kitchen be bench and stands up. Quiet, she draws closer to me. Her vivid blue eyes are de stare deeply into mine. There's something special in your eye. Do, do you really think so? I wish she wouldn't stand so close to me. Her face. Everything about her is so otherworldly. Yet it is beautiful in a way that I cannot fully understand. I do think so. Her hand reaches towards my face and gently strokes my cheek. Most people here have no spark in their eyes. They've grown dull and cynical. But you, Toru, there's something inside you. It's hard to explain. I remember seeing something similar in your grandfather's eyes. Do all the men in your family have this? Uh, I don't really know. It's not something I've noticed before. Well, whatever it is, it shines very brightly in your soul. My soul? Well, of course you have a soul, silly. Did you think that souls didn't exist or something? I haven't really thought about that, no. Remember that I used to be cynical and I never believed in things like that before. Why would you deny the existence of a soul of all things? Wouldn't that be a very sad way to live? To, to just simply think that you were... To... Ah, words! To just simply think that when you reach the end of your life, you simply cease to exist? Well, I mean, yeah, you, you just die, you rot in the your body rots in the ground. Don't know where your soul ends up in, but yeah, that's about it. That would make me very sad. <clears throat> now that she brings that up, I'm thinking like that is kind of depressing. Well, it's not best. Well, it's best not to think about things like that, isn't it? Wait a moment. Did the atmosphere in here change? Eh? She looks around her. The colors in the room have become more vivid. You're picking up so easily on it now. There are more. There are moments where the words overlap, and it's in that gap the spirits manifest themselves. Why do I feel so at peace? Because you are in tune with the heartbeat of two worlds. Peace of mind comes from understanding, doesn't it? The more you begin to notice and to understand, the more at peace your heart will be. I'm only repeating what I was told back in the beyond, but I was told that human beings crave peace of mind. And they desire understanding above all else. But, she looks around the room. There should be some spirits hiding in here somewhere. This might be a good opportunity for you to practice. You mean talking with them? Exactly. I just stand there awkwardly. What am I supposed to do exactly? Just say whatever? Hey, what's up? Been here long? Be sure to keep your spirits up. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That was a bad joke. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Just say anything. Get their attention. Make sure you concentrate first though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't stop laughing now from that lame joke I just said. The more you focus, the more clearly they will be able to hear your voice. Well, it's worth a shot, I guess. Hey, is there someone in here? I notice that the atmosphere grows strangely quiet. Is someone listening? I swear that I hear something whispered to me. Hold on, I can't quite understand you. I strained my ears trying to understand what they were saying. I can't hear them. But they seem to be able to hear you. That's very good, Toru. It's not enough if I can't. If we really can't carry a conversation, though. You're only just learning how to use your talents. You can't scold yourself for not succeeding right away. I hear something rattling underneath the bench. Eh? What's that? It starts rattling it again. Oh. It seems that there is a spirit hiding in there. It must be a bit shy. Come on, guys. She opens the cupboard. An assortment of different condiments and food st foodstuff is stored there. Now, where would you be hiding? She begins to pull things out of the cupboard. No, you aren't here. And you're not here either. Where could you be? 
She pulls out some sort of tube. What is this supposed to be? She looks it up and down. Taru, do you know what this is? She begins squeezing on it. Wait, don't squeeze it on it like that. Eh? Why not? It's then at the top of the tube burst from the pressure. Oh! Oh! I gotta hurry up. As the seal burst off, thick strands of white, creamy fluid spread out of his stop. Oh god, it's worse. Since she was holding it right in front of it, it sprayed. Oh, oh, oh god, it's even worse. I never understand what's happening. Yako shocks just makes her squeeze the bottle even harder. What is this thing doing, Toro? I, I don't know how to make it stop. Maybe you stop squeezing the stupid bottle? Yeah, put it down. She isn't listening to me, however. Large gloves of uh, continue to shoot out of his tip, making Yako's face white, sticking mess. Oh, what is this stuff, Toro? It smells strange. Frosting? J -j just stand still. Mayo? Is it mayonnaise? Why do you keep mayonnaise in the cupboard? Usually you keep mayonnaise in the refrigerator. You, she sh should have squeezed everything out of the bottle by now. But it isn't stopping. More and more of it pours out. There's no way that a single tube of mayonnaise could hold that much. A bit of it gets into Nayako's mouth. It's sweet. I don't know. Mayonnaise isn't sweet. What's, what's this odd taste? Small trails of mayonnaise hang from her from the sides of her lips. She's actually closing her mouth and swallow some of it. There's a spirit inside this thing. It's doing this on purpose. Make it stop. She tries to put the tube down on the edge, but the tube begins to move by itself. It's like I can and continue to fire more and more mayonnaise around the room. I swear that I hear a giggle coming from it too. Naiko pants heavily, unable to protect herself from the tube's exploding contents. It's everywhere, Toro. <clears throat> There's so much of it. It won't stop coming out. <laughs> She's not wrong. The two continues to squirt more and more mayonnaise all over her face, leaving her in a sticky mess. It looks so inappropriate. Exactly. I have to do something about this. Alright, whatever spirit is hiding in that tube. We're going to stop this right now. The mayonnaise bit barrage stops for a moment. I hear something like a hum in the room. Looks, look at the mess you've made. You've gone way too far with this joke. You, So you had better stop it right now. Or I'm going to make you stop. I have no idea what I'm going to do though. I swear that I hear someone whisper, fine. Before long, the two deflates and all of its contacts completely squeeze out of it. Nayako just looks away from me, not letting me see her messy face. D don't look. I need to get myself cleaned up now. Just don't look, okay? That's fine. Well, I had better get this mess sorted out before anyone else sees it. What a day that was! Exa exactly, Toru. J just a, a good way to, s to stop my day manis in the face. <laughs> Both Kaio and Ayako have been bullied by disembodied spirits around school now. Why are they being getting targeted? Hey, Toru. Thinking about those two stray cats again, are you? Yeah. Whenever I'm, uh, whenever I'm around them, spirits seem to start acting up. That's because they're new, the new kids on the block. They're going to be, be the two guiding spirits of the two gates. That means they're going to govern all of the spirits in the surrounding lands too. So, as you can understand, some spirits don't take too kindly to them. It's been rather wild around here since it's been a few years without proper guiding spirits. Until the accession festival happens, you're going to be dealing with things like that a lot. Another reason why you're around, you know? So, I'm like a spiritual bodyguard for them. A bit like that, yeah. That's pretty much how it's always been in our family. So, did you have two spirits that you had to help too? Yeah, it's been a while though. I haven't heard from them in a few years. I'm not that worried though. I'm going to end up in the beyond sooner or later as well. We can catch up then. Sorry, Grandpa. I didn't mean to pry. It just sort of slipped out. Honestly, Toru. He rustles my hair with one hand. You don't get to on my. You don't get to my age without having a bit of mongrel in you. A few words isn't going to kill me. I'm just happy that we can talk like we can talk about these things now. Yeah, that's right. Whenever we talk now, he can carry a conversation with me about spirits. Before I just nod and agreed, never act. 
actually paying attention to what he was saying. I'm glad you're around to tell me all about all these things. I don't know if I would have been able to handle this by myself. That's what's family for, right? Isn't it? <laughs> he puts a hand on my shoulder. We're there for each other when we're sailing through turbulent waters. Now then, hurry up and get some dinner to enter you. If we keep talking about sappy things all day, you're just going to make yourself sad. The past isn't as important as here and now, got it? Yeah, I completely agree. <clears throat> so what's for dinner tonight? I decided I'm going to try cooking curry tonight. I've heard that curry helps starve off Alzheimer's disease. What sort of curry are you thinking tonight? Hmm, not really sure yet. What about steak curry with plenty of chili? Not, not too hot, though. I really can't handle spicy food. Come on, Toro. If, you, if we get you eating curry now, imagine how sharp your mind will be when you get to my age. And then we hear someone knocking at the door. Oh, now who could that be? I head over and open it wide. Oh, it's Kayo. Greetings, Toro. She bows before me. May I please come in? Naiko steps in, steps in without a care in the world. She sniffs the air. Hey, is that the curry powder I smell? Oh, 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 I want a big extra bowl. Please restrain yourself. We are guests in the Akita household. As such, we have to conduct ourselves in a dignified manner. If these two are here, then they must have made up somehow. That's a small step in the right direction, at least. Cut loose if you like. Just a little respect. Oh, yes. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Kayo. I'm so sorry. I like Kayo more than Nayako. So, yeah. Just a little respect, please. Hold on. I'm sure that it would be best to behave properly when you're a grandpa's, when you're grandpa's guest. I don't really mind that much, you know. You two can make yourselves at home. Grandpa seems happy to have extra company. It's been a while since you've last visited, Kayo. Are you doing alright? I'm doing fine, Mr. Akira. Thank you for your concern. Once again, she bows. Seriously. Grandpa just shakes his head. Okay, I think Grandpa likes Nayako more than Kayo, but I like Kayo more than Nayako, so... Doesn't matter. Well, I usually cook too much anyways. He'll be ready soon, alright? And he shuffles back into the kitchen. So what brings you two here? We wanted to see you, Toro. What she says is true. Also, I thought about what you said. And I... I, I apologized. I still think she's too much of a prude, though. Perhaps you're right. For now, though, let's not concern ourselves with too much with that. I understand that Ayako has been helping you with your training. Could you please come by my shrine tomorrow so that I may help you as well? After school, of course. I don't have anything planned, so why not? But I want to spend more time with him. It's only fair, Ayako. This is a delicate situation, however. I have to make sure that I balance my time between both of them. If they get me involved with their feud, it's just going to be really messy. The last thing I want is to be accused of ferrying one of them over the other. Oh, forget that! I don't care about that! I want Kyle! Yet again, that's probably why I'm here. The last thing I was expecting as a priest was to be playing peacemaker between two feuding spirits. So, how do you like your curry, you two? Hot and spicy or do you prefer mild like my grandson? <laughs> the hottest you can make it, please! I am more partial to mild curry. It is hard to enjoy the flavors when your mouth is burning. Right, right. I remember now. We had a big curry night last time you two came over. You two really should come over more often, you know. Now that I think about it, Grandpa was living by himself before I came. Did he ever get lonely? I imagine he must have had times. So you prefer my curry too, Toro? And here I thought you would have real taste in curry. I imagine that he simply possesses a deeper understanding of curry than you do. Truly enjoying the flavors instead of dumping spices in it is the only way to enjoy curry. And I, I'm just gonna leave it off here on a good note with curry. Cause I've never had curry. I, I, I don't like spicy food. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it.
I really don't want any more surprises like the Mayo one. Because that was a mind shocking for me. I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next part, yeah? Okay. Bye bye.